What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is episode 12 of uh, season 2, 60 Days In. Last episode, Cherie was starting things in her head again about some chick that just walked in. Some new chick. So, see what happens with that. Ryan's running the store. A tray store, so he calls it. Which is stupid in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. But anyhow, I hope everybody's having a great day, night, wherever you're from. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I try to do daily uploads, sometimes twice a day. So without any further ado, let's drop right into it. Oh, was it her kid? Oh no. Oh no. My baby's that young and I cannot imagine. They're gonna make her roll out. Or they're gonna beat the brakes off her. What? I have kids. It aggravates you to death. You're just gonna get your either your ass whooped or you're gonna get checked out of the pod. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. People frown upon that, regardless, you know, neglect, especially to a baby. Oh, she's got to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, something about to happen. They about to fight. So what you gonna do about my money? I've been sparing you. I really want to slaughter you. I want my oh. money, man. Get the out of my room. <laughs> Damn. He about to roll out. So Justin comes over and he just flat out asks me for help. <laughs> Justin wants to start selling his trays to pay off his debt. I've established myself as well, you should have been doing. a similar business model, and he kind of wants to actually learn from that. <laughs> what is this similar business model? Come on, dude. All right, let me get all your stuff. What stuff can I get, man? You know, I didn't say two words to you. People sitting here trying to shake my hand. I'm like, look, man, I'm trying to pack up and get the hell out of here. Like, please leave me alone. Let me get no, look at them, vultures. People like, oh, can I have your stuff? Can I have you? I'm like, look, I don't give a scavenger. Any of this stuff. Y'all can Damn. have all this. I was just trying to like, can y'all please get the hell out of my way? <laughs> like, I'm ready to leave. You need to roll out. I'm letting like you I know. I know. no choice but to tell Demiris that she's got to leave the pod immediately. Because it looked like they were going to physically harm her. <laughs> I decided. <laughs> I, I want to go home. I decided to go home. What? I'm confused. What? Okay. Super weird. I oh, must have missed that. Like, I don't understand. Like, we are not letting nobody else don't say not one thing. Or I'm gonna flip out. What is going on? They come in and apologize to her. Is this really happening? Quentin, Sean. Where you at, buddy? Here. Oh, God bless. Get your bed back. Uh, time to go. Y'all 
Y'all ain't been talking to me. Just wanting. Because I want something, you have it, you should give it to me. And it doesn't actually add up. They hadn't given me anything, so I don't think they deserved anything. Nobody gets nothing. Oh, I'm jumping down. I ain't worried about you. Right. Yeah, you're fine. Look, y'all swarming, man. Quentin could have given some of his stuff to Justin to help clear out the debt, but he, he didn't. Mona Lisa Wilson. Time to go. Come on, man. so much longer than everybody else i'd be the first to go and it's not that way at all nope. it's it's very surreal almost terrible they turn phones off for transport especially when you're being extradited they turn off like as soon as you roll out before you leave your car are they on? They're on. She ain't going nowhere but home. Damn. I'm trying to get us to talk about our kids and our drug addiction. I'm trying to get us to be all emotional. It worked, didn't it? Because y'all was talking. One thing I did notice, you're pretty laid back, but when we were first in the early, you were pretty anxious. Do you think part of that, it was just the anxiety of being in there and kind of... Yeah, like your head on a swivel, because there's always that tension of the unknown, the unexpected. Yeah, stop making excuses, That's the officer. Yeah. You, I caught you, you said I wanted to find where I got my back up against the wall, where yeah. I could observe what's going on. I know that I'd be yeah, it was, it was overload to you. It was overload and stressful, because I did not know where the blind spots were. Quentin gave some really constructive criticism. I think Quentin truly cares. <laughs> Your jail sucks. I'll be honest with you. I didn't want people sugarcoating everything. I didn't want them to just say stuff that they thought I wanted to hear. Quentin, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all you've done. Thanks, Quentin. Captain. Jennifer. <laughs> He's like, man, I don't, I don't care for none of y'all. <laughs> like, get me out of here. You're about to go home. Calm down, damn. I'm trying to f kind of figure out what's going on because you don't get free commissary. You're not even doing your mission. I know. I, I need. You to have no idea how the drugs get in. Mona Lisa left, and everybody's all like trying to figure out who's a plant. But this is what I'm here to do. I need to get information. Yeah, do something. Most people, they, they can't get inmates to, like, open up, but I, I've been here so long. I'm just one of them now. Whatever the kids want, the kids get. It's Why is she walking around like this? You got jazz There's hands? Coming. Is that, oh, no. <laughs> Don't Yeah, I was about to flip out. So what was your thoughts when you I didn't get the water for five hours. Started. It was pretty intense. Ain't nobody gonna tell me I can't use the bathroom. Leave my children. Leave my children. Oh my god. My nerves kicked in and I got a little nervous. And I was like, oh damn, what the hell I get myself into? <laughs> it was hard to take a piss in it in there. Like that was the hardest part because everybody wanted you to either ask for permission to come in their bathroom or you couldn't use their bathroom depending on race. If we removed all four inmates out of one cell and said that's the day where bathroom, nobody's allowed to live in there. That actually would help like a lot. 
If you're trying to avoid situations, not having a designated bathroom is going to be a fight, period. The inmate culture is more so just chaotic. If the guards take that, like, a parent role, that is straight up, like, stop a lot of stuff. What's going to happen with this guy? Something, please. <laughs> that I'm never gonna use. Just sitting around, and I could help Justin get out of debt, but would that make me a target simply by getting involved? Yeah, if he don't shut his silly ass up, man. Not Ryan, this dude, man. Oh, Lord. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Ain't nothing gonna happen. That dude is all talk. You can tell just by watching him. You just messing with that dude, Justin, because he quiet. And he weak. Be a bully, man. I can't stand bullies, man. I wish I would have smacked the fire out of his ass, man. For real. Damn. Anyhow, I ain't trying to get fired up over this stuff. <laughs> it upsets me when I see stuff like that, though. Damn. Anyhow, we got one more episode left. Then we got the reunion. So... It's almost over, guys. The season's almost over. Then I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm still going to be doing 60 Days In, but I think I'm going to incorporate other shows or other things that I like into it because I don't want to get burnt out doing 60 Days In every day. I, just, I want to switch it up. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. Maybe two days a week I do 60 Days In, then... The other days, I switch up whatever show I feel like doing or something. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Just be on the lookout for it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video.